In this video, we'll have a look at how to understand the flamenco 12-beat rhythm. And it's really designed um, to cater towards North Americans. We'll start with something that is familiar and will evolve into the Spanish 12-beat. And so the first thing that we can look at is if we think of the 12-beat as first a bar of 6-8. So essentially we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So again, our six, eight bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we want to add after that a bar of three, four. One and two and three and. Again, one and two and three and. And so that gives us together one, two, three, four, five, six, one and two and. Three and. and we've likely heard this rhythm before if you play in 6-8 sometimes there's a hemiola where you give it a 3-4 feel anyways that should be familiar to most people so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 and 2 and 3 and and now the next thing that we want to do is just shift our thinking so we're gonna count it a little different now we're gonna count in the 12 beat and what we call beat 1 before, we're going to call beat 12. So we have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now what we'll do is give the accents a hierarchy, and this will start to give it more of the authentic feel. So what we've seen so far, we have the accents on 12, 3, 6, Eight, ten. Now we're going to put the strongest accents on three and ten. So that gives us twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it might uh, come out a little better if I do it on the back here. So it's twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And uh, finally, we'll just look at uh, one aspect where we shift our accents slightly. It doesn't apply in all styles, but in some of the styles. So for example, in the style of Bularia, you would take your accent on six and shift it to seven. So we have 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So now let's talk about how this applies to the styles. So we'll look at a few different styles. It's certainly not exhaustive. There are so many different styles. We'll just look at three and see how it applies. And we'll start with Solea. And now here, our, our phrasing, often in different styles, it'll start at different places within the 12, and it's thought of as the flamenco clock. And so you can think of an analog clock face or watch face where you've got your numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Of course, 12 being right at the top. For the solea, we start at the 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12. You can see I'm tapping the accents on 3, 6, 8, 10, 12. So again, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Next, we'll have a look at the style of Bularia. Now here we'll start our phrasing on the 12. Incidentally, in this style, often you'll shift chords on the three and the ten, sort of up and then back on the three and the ten. So our chord changes were on the three and the ten there. So basically we have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and finally, we have a look at Sigidia. Here, our phrasing shifts again. We start uh, with two quarters, and then we have our groups of three, so two groups of three, and then our last quarter again. Or, so you can hear it, it's a little more practical if you hear it. We'd have okay, and it's often counted if if we tap it out like we were beating the others. Okay, again. Now, if we were counting it as we did the others, we'd have. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But that's really not the way to look at it. I did that so that you could relate it to what we talked to, but really the way you want to look at it is to count it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So really it's counted in 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And um, I guess the last word about uh, these styles is we've spent a lot of time counting. That's only just so you can understand it from a mental perspective and try to grasp it. But really, it needs to be more than that. It needs to be, um, you need to listen to it, really. It's not a mental exercise. It's not a math exercise. Listen to a lot of the styles. Really try to find the groove in it. And that's what it's all about. So. Uh, make it more than just a, a math lesson. It really needs to be a groove. And once you get the feel of the groove, you, you won't need to count. And that's where you want to take it. And that comes through listening and playing quite a bit. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and uh, I hope it shed some light on some of the mysteries of the flamenco 12 beat. I thank you for joining me. See you next time. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3,